My name is Navzale Shalom Shamim, and I'm glad to minister to you once again today. Today we are going to share about one of the biblical values that we need to exercise as Christians, children and youth. Our topic today is about self-control. What is self-control? Self-control is stopping myself from doing wrong so I can do right. Or self-control is restraining myself from bad words, wrong thoughts and actions. Oh, self-control is the ability to regulate one's emotions, thoughts and behavior in the face of temptations and impulses. An impulse is a desire to act or something that causes something to happen or happen more quickly. The question is, how do you react to situations? We get this from 1 Samuel chapter 24. David exercised self-control by sparing Saul's life despite Saul pursuing to kill him. David's men encouraged him to kill Saul, but he said to them, The Lord forbid I should do such a thing to my master. The Lord is anointed, or lift my hand against him, for he is anointed of God. If such an opportunity comes to you, what would you do? Some of us would be very excited getting revenge against your enemy. You remember those things we do while at school, especially if a fight is to happen. We read Proverbs 29, verse 11. It says, A fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. Self-control is listed in the Bible as one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. A sign that Christ is in us. If we let our desires lead our decisions, our lives, and our bodies, we can quickly spin out of control. Self-control helps us to resist temptation and avoid conforming to the things of this world. It guides our decisions and correlates with how we show the other fruits in our lives, i.e. forbearance or patience requires self-control. An example here for us to learn from. Food cravings are no joke. They are strong and convincing and usually lead you to eat way more junk food than you need. God created food to sustain us, fuel us, bring people together, and bring us enjoyment, but food was never meant to control us just like other pleasures in life. I have seen some children, youth, amidst the variety they have in their homes. Still, when they visit, they appear the most hungry or in need. Ah, why do you fight for toys that are not yours? You get an opportunity to go with your parents to a supermarket or restaurant. Simply because they said make a choice, you jump from this to another, as in you want to grab everything. My dear, live over excitement and apply a speed govern of self-control. Otherwise, you will mess up and miss on many opportunities. Let's see from Proverbs 25, verse 28. Like a city whose walls are broken down, is a man who lacks self-control. When you lack self-control, every garbage enters you. That is jealousy, anger, selfishness, bitterness, immoral thoughts and acts, bad habits, lies among others. Know you are the city. Your spirit is the city wall and God is the builder. Self-control is a discipline that God grows in us. When we continually choose to die to our own flesh and live in him. It is so frustrating to know what is right and not to be able to manage to do it. 
what is the missing piece between our knowledge and actions? That's Jesus. Sin runs deep inside us. But as Christians, we have the one in us who can give us the strength to stand and say no to temptation. We don't have the strength on our own to be able to choose what is right, especially when it doesn't feel good. Fortunately, we serve a very good, ever faithful God who works wonders in our weakness as we seek him. God bless you.